Welcome to episode 10, our first double digit episode of So You Want to Be a Star in the Music Business. Um, today we're going to discuss a topic that we, we don't want to scare you too much, but it's just something you really, every performer, um, aspiring artist that is attempting to perform and earn money from performing their, their art, their songs, um, things to keep in mind in terms of the cost associated. So it may you may get excited and get a gig at the local club or even get a chance to open for somebody and earn a little bit of money, but then you have to think how much is it costing you to perform. So that's our topic we want to discuss today. And uh, just as a preface to all of this, uh, the history, the recent history of uh, the internet taking over the music world is uh, about 10 years ago and before you would put out uh, a record a CD, and you would tour in order to help sell that CD. What has happened that unless you are in the upper echelon of record making, the Beyonce's, um, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson at, at that level, uh, everyone else is right now doing the opposite. You must put out a CD in order to promote your performance because your concerts will earn you more money than your CD will, unless mm -hmm. you're in the multi-millions of sales. Um, so it has totally revolutionized the music business, and you should keep in mind that you have the opportunity to make more money by having a very exciting stage performance than just by having a record. That's right. It's, it's kind of a, a catch-22 because... Um, some people are, are just one-man artists and they can go out and just control the entire show and run the stage. Some people have to surround themselves with multiple singers, multiple dancers, some, some acrobatics in the background. So the question you have to ask yourself when you're developing your show, it's this is where the Catch-22 is. How much effort are you putting into arranging everything that surrounds your show from the live instrumentation to the backup dancers to the backup singers? How many backup dancers? Is it two? Is it five? Is it seven? Um, the stuff you're adding to that show, how much is it going to add to the value of what you could possibly earn as a performer? So then you have to, sometimes, some people have to cut down part of their show. They have a set show, but depending on the cost, you have to cut it down because then you're paying for multiple people's airfare, multiple people, you're getting multiple hotel rooms. So these are all the things you have to think about, whether you perform by yourself or how many other people are you adding on. And if your show your is show. out of town, you're the... Uh, concert buyer or promoter is going to want low cost also. So if somebody is willing to give you a chance opening or just playing their club in Minneapolis and you're from New York and then you f tell them that you want to bring seven people with you, they may just pull out because they just can't afford it. And you want to, which, which again is the reason why many acts now, if they're not a live band, they work with tracks. Mm -hmm. They bring the music with them on a CD, um, and that's it. And therefore, that gets them started, and when they finally get a real big concert tour, they can afford to have a live band. It's unfortunate, because musicians are wonderful, and it uh, has changed the music industry that way also. Again, unless you are in the top echelon of music sales. Mm -hmm. Some of the costs, Kevin? We got a, a whole list, and hopefully this doesn't scare you to death, but just always something to keep in mind. This is where the business of music comes in. So just like anything you do in life, um, when you earn some money, there are some costs involved. So um, some of the basics. You have travel, which is mostly air, assuming you're out of town and not local. Hotel, where are you staying? So hopefully you know you have a friend that's, that lives in that area. You can crash on the couch. Otherwise, you will need to be uh, booking a hotel room. You have ground transportation. How are you getting from the hotel, I'm sorry, to the airport and back and forth? And, and just keep in mind, at least in New York, that could be $75 if you're using a taxi, nevertheless a car service. The promoter is well aware of that, mm -hmm. as are you, or as you should be. All right. Also, uh, the people that you do have uh, as part of your performance, your dancers, your singers, how much do they cost? How much is your road manager if you are taking one or if you take a sound person with you to run your CD or uh, whatever tracks you're using or your computer tracks. Right. Um, costumes and 
you know, just whatever outfit you're wearing. You know, some ladies, whether it's hair, do you have somebody doing your hair at that event? Um, do you need to get your hair done in that city to perform? How about your makeup? Who's doing your makeup? How much does that cost? Uh, big topic, uh, and a lot of people get caught on this. Uh, certainly, if you're at that really beginning starting level, you probably can get away with this. But no, no one gets away without withholding taxes. What this means is because of the uh, terrible economy, uh, every state and every country has decided that they don't want you working in their state without them making some money off of you in taxes. You say, well, I live in California. Why am I paying taxes in Missouri? Because Missouri knows you live in California and they want your money. So if you're making $10,000, if you're lucky enough to be making that for a concert, um, certain states, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Wisconsin, Michigan, California takes 15% of your money if you're from any other state. And that means your $10,000, you go home with $8,500. Um, and that's it. And unless you're going to uh, do a tax return in California and pay your accountant to do that, you will never see that $1,500 again. Uh, so, and again, management does this for you. One of the reasons to have management if you're I was, at that I was level. the same thing. But you have to pay your management. Exactly. So you have commissions. You have your management commission. You have your booking agent's commission, which should both be 10%-ish, depending on your deal. So, so you're automatically losing 15% to California, for example, and you're losing 10% to your booking agent, 10% to your manager. Then you've got all the other expenses that Kevin brought up. And then at the end of the year, if you live in New York State, you're going to pay New York State taxes and federal taxes on the money you earned. <laughs> so it goes down and down and down and down. So if that didn't scare you enough, <laughs> just... Your show better be a uh, smash hit, and everybody better be willing to spend their last dollar on a ticket to see you and not that pizza at the corner. Realism is very important. I, I just wanted to bring up with the withholding taxes. Places like Germany charge 28% withholding tax, and you are not going to send in a tax return to uh, Germany. It's too expensive to have your accountant do it. So you're just going to lose it. Australia takes over 20%. London and England takes 20%. Uh, South Africa takes 20 to 22 percent. It goes on and on. And you will, what, if you get offered $30,000 to go to South Africa plus airfare, how wonderful. You're going home with much, much less. So you have to budget yourself. You have to remember you're not making the money you think you're making. On that note, Kevin. And that's it. Well, for now, we'll have more depressing things at the next time. Hopefully, we'll bring you some good news next time. Um, and then again, I guess who we are, Kevin Curtin. Mitch Weiss. Um, check out the website. We're at www.mwentgroup.com. Uh, also, you can catch us on Twitter or follow us on Twitter at underscore MWEG. And we would really appreciate it if you just like us and send this out to your friends uh, so that more and more people see it. We really are only here to help educate and uh, let you know some of the pitfalls of the business you're trying to get into or the business you're already in. Uh, we keep the dream going. And yes, uh, shout out to Sheila E. Just saw her um, unsung bio uh, pick. Uh, this past weekend, and a uh, wonderful, wonderful musician and singer uh, who had a few tough years there, and we're happy she's well. And that's it. For me, shout out to everybody who just does a great live show. There Keep you go. Going. Take care.